and welcome to Zoo La La. So why is it that bats don't get dizzy upside down? It's pretty odd that any animal would want to hang upside down like this. I've been here moments and it's pretty uncomfortable, but bats seem to love it. Many bat species hibernate over winter, meaning they spend days, weeks and even months hanging the wrong way up. But why? Well, hanging out like this is a great way to avoid danger. They can go to hard to reach places like a roof of a cave where predators simply can't reach them. And there's far less competition for these roosting spots, simply because birds can't hang upside down. Ha! Being the wrong way up is also thought to help them take off. Some bat species simply don't have the wing power to initiate flight from a standing start like birds can, and their legs just aren't strong enough to build up the necessary speed to get airborne. So plummeting upside down from this position gives them the best chance they could hope for. And if a predator comes a little too close, they are set, ready to make a quick escape. For me, hanging upside down is pretty uncomfortable. I've only been here a few minutes and my legs are already starting to ache. Would you believe it? <laughs> But bats do it with ease. In fact, they can do it without exerting any energy at all. When we grab hold of something, our arm muscles contract, which pulls tendons in our fingers and causes the hand to close. To keep it closed, we need to keep contracting our muscles. Bats have a very similar system in their feet, but rather than attaching to a muscle, the tendon attaches to their upper body. So when the bat hangs upside down, the weight of their body causes their feet to close and cling on. Therefore, the bat can hang out for as long as it wants to without exerting any energy. In fact, it actually has to contract a muscle just to let go. The system is so good that if a bat dies whilst roosting upside down, it's gonna stay there. But what about the dizziness? How do they stop the blood going to their heads? Well, it's all down to blood pressure. Time for an experiment. This is me obviously, and the water inside represents my blood. So when I'm the right way up, the pressure inside my head is low, so the blood vessels don't need to be very thick. To keep the blood pressure just right, the blood vessels contract, forcing exactly the right amount of blood into my head. But if I turn upside down, the blood rushes straight to my head, so the vessels stop contracting to ease the pressure. Now, if I suddenly stand up again, the vessels are too relaxed, so the blood rushes straight out of my head, making me feel dizzy and even faint. This simply isn't an option for a bat. If they fainted after letting go from being upside down, the results would be disastrous. So how do they deal with it? They simply just don't suffer the same problem. We stand over a metre and a half high and have eight to 10 pints of blood in our body. So the blood pressure throughout can vary tremendously. But most bats are only a few centimetres in length. And for them, the difference in blood pressure is likely to be very little. Certainly not enough to make them feel dizzy. If you have any questions or comments, then type them in the box below. In the below. Below? Ugh. Can I come down now? She's going. Good. Good. Nice work. Are you okay. alright Okay, you're gone. <laughs> Why don't bats. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, I got a fall! Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another. <laughs> We're not the only ones who fart. Cows, <coughs> elephants, <coughs> snakes, and even fish fart. In fact, there aren't many animals that don't let rip. Sponges and jellyfish can't break wind, but that's simply because they don't have an anus. 